Hey guys, welcome back to Gear Facts and to an instrument that's been sort of more or less ever present in the later part of my career. It's the Novation X Station. And the first thing I'd say about it is it's just a great synth. <laughs> Instantly usable and instantly enjoyable straight out of the box. And it's not just a synth, it's very loaded with options. It's like a Swiss army knife of studio work, I suppose. It can act as an audio interface with phantom power for an XLR microphone. It can act as a multi-effect system for an external source. And it can even play the part of a chaos pad, adjusting your tones with this touchpad right here, as well as Novation's usual and very comfortable ergonomic modulation and pitch bend system. So straight away you've got a lot of studio work covered with this instrument and it's only small although it does come in a 49 key version as well if you want to play with a bit more fluidity. Let's choose a couple of patches at random. So there we see how changing sounds is very instantly accessible. I like using the touchpad just because it's so quick and instant, but you've also got all the usual controls such as filters. And envelope controls. and an arpeggiator. And effects, also very quick. Just turning that delay down a little bit. There we go, we can change the octave. Very wide span of octaves, goes down to minus four and right up to plus five. Sounds of course are based on a big selection of waveforms. Accidentally changed the semitone control there. Portamento, again, just an instant control. <laughs> and if you switch between octaves, it will hold the note on that octave. So we've got this one. So the versatility is absolutely outstanding. I'm just going to go through a few more presets. Again, random choices. Not just a monophonic synth either.
Basically, your speakers are at home, but that sound is huge. Okay, we'll take a bit of a pan across the back here, and again, the versatility really shows. So we've got power and on switch, obviously, USB control, slots for not just an expression pedal, but a sustain pedal as well, right here. Over here, we've got MIDI in, out, and through, SP diff. I know no one really uses that anymore, but it's good to know it's there. Headphones, output one, output two, left and right there, and then we've got our two XLR sockets. If you do end up getting an X station and you switch on the factory preset sounds, you might find they sound a little bit last decade, but don't be too phased by that. You can see here just how deep the synthesis options are, and it goes quite a lot further. Of course, you've got USB as well, so you can hook up to a PC. The keybed has a very nice feel. I absolutely love this control system. It's really nicely designed. It's great to have the touchpad there right next to the pitch bend and modulation in a way that you can use them all at the one time. I also found that as I was playing it, it's quite easy to stick my pinky over here and control modulation that way as well. So a really good ergonomic system. It's light, it runs on batteries. Like I said, it's a Swiss Army knife. You can use it for all kinds of functions in the studio. So that is an Ovation X Station. Like I said, this is the 25 key model. Thanks for liking, commenting, or subscribing, guys. And even better, please share gear facts with your friends. Anybody who's interested in Novation keyboards or anything else that I've reviewed here on Gear Facts, they might find it interesting. You never know. They might thank you forever. Anyway, thanks for watching Gear Facts, guys. Look forward to seeing you on the next episode. X Station 25 from Novation.